this cut through a gas station. It's like, the, you know when the gas station's on the corner and the light's red, but you cut through the gas station to go? Yeah, that's what I just did. Remember those gray pants that I showed you I bought at Sports Authority? Well, I went and bought them in black, actually exchanged them because this morning when I was in the gym, oh my god, I, I like I can't even explain. Like right here in the crotch was just all sweaty and you could see it, and I was like, um, I'm pretty sure Nike Dry Fit is not supposed to show your sweat. So that was gross. So I exchanged those for the black ones. Um, and then I also got this bag at Francesca's. Really cute. Just a simple bag. It was only like 15 bucks. It was on sale. And I don't have any red bags. So I am literally freezing my ass off right now. I don't know what it is. I'm going to hit something right now. See, this is when those night, night, night lights come in handy. Okay, what does this say? It's 72 degrees in here, but like the heat's on. Oh, the heat, the heat is on auto. Ah, I'm so cold. Ew. You know when you get into bed and you just want to be like comfortable, but you're not because it's so cold. Oh my god. Grab the little snack in my little cup. And because, I don't know, I was hungry. <laughs> You coulda went. Oh, the sun is gonna kill me today. Jesus. I hate when people don't know how to drive. I'm on my way to work, and I swear to God, every time I'm on my way to work, <clears throat> I get stuck behind somebody that doesn't know how to drive or I get stuck behind a big ass truck. Not kidding. <clears throat> it's just like, <clears throat> my God, it's just my luck. Well, I forgot to put my contacts or, and or glasses on this morning, so I'm a little blind. Um, I mean, I can see. I also spilled my tea everywhere. What the f are you stopping for? You have no reason to stop. Just drive. Holy crap. I weighed myself this morning and I, if you guys watched my last vlog, uh, you saw me weigh myself in that vlog and I weighed 156 point something. And I weighed myself after New Year's um, I already was expecting the weight to go up because I ate really bad for dinner on New Year's because it was New Year's and I was like, I'm just going to eat bad because I can. So I weighed myself after New Year's, which was a few days ago, and I gained like four pounds. And I was like, okay, whatever, you know, like weight fluctuates a lot. And especially when you eat bad. So after New Year's, I ate pretty decent, I think. And I weighed myself again today and I gained more weight. It's so on 161. And I was like, all right, well, this is not okay. So I'm not happy about that. I don't really care what the scale says, but the scale also does matter to a certain extent because it shows if you're making progress or not. And clearly I'm not making any progress. I have my meeting with my personal trainer tomorrow and I think with my personal trainer, which I know my personal trainer isn't a nutritionist, but when I signed up for this um, personal training, I was told, you know, they do like everything. They do, you know, what you should be eating. You have no idea. Stupid. 
I just feel like my personal trainer isn't really teaching me anything new. You know, maybe he's teaching me kind of like a new way to work out, but like I don't need to spend my half hour working out, you know, with you. Like I don't need to spend my half hour learning, um, you know, learning how to do the workout because I've done many, many workouts before. I've been working out for four years, you know, hardcore weight training, so I don't need to relearn any of that. I know how to do the, I know how to do the motions. The motions in the ocean. I know how to do all the motions. I don't need you to show me. I need you to write it down, and I need you to give it to me. Get the glow going today. Hey, everyone. I'm on break right now. Glowing, I'm glowing. It's so hot in this mall, though. Like, I don't care if it's 80 degrees outside, 30 degrees outside, it's literally hot as hell. My mama texted me. What's up, mama? <clears throat> oh, I shared this vine with my mom, guys. It was so funny. Mom, what's the wine and crackers for? Well, the wine is Jesus' blood and the bread is his body and then we eat him all up. <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys my little fitness pal for the day because I'm kind of proud of myself. So we ate 165, 100, wow, wow. So usually for breakfast I eat like a good amount to get me through the day. Lunch is usually small and then dinner's a little bit bigger and then my snack is kind of dispersed throughout the day. I have been trying to keep track of everything so that I can really see, you know, how my body reacts. So I also keep track of, you know, the exercise that I do and the water that I drink too. And I keep track of my weight. This is what's really important to me, the little, what is this, pie chart here? Because it tells me, um, it evens out how many carbs I've eaten, fats and protein and when you see it like this you know these are the three most important macros that you should be eating and when it's looked at like this I feel like I don't know it's so much better to look at it like that yeah I will probably go in more depth into all of this stuff that I do to keep track and all that fun stuff if you want me to in another video so comment down below shit is getting real guys well here's me editing a video for you but shit's getting real because I just put in my school schedule in my calendar so that looks like a lot of fun um, my school schedule to be honest though isn't that bad I don't have any school on Wednesdays or on Fridays so that's really good so today was basically the last day for holiday hours at work and I'm feeling a little relieved. I mean, tomorrow is going to be, well, technically today because it's like 12.05, but tomorrow is going to be my <sighs> first day off in since Christmas, actually. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be my first day off since Christmas, and it's going to be nice to relax a little bit and do some things around the house. I keep putting off, putting my laundry away, and cleaning my extensions because those are a pain in my butt. Good morning. I can't even believe the sun's like not even out yet. I don't know, I'll be working out in the gym looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, all right, you look like a butterball. <laughs> like, we gotta do something about the shine. <laughs> laundry right there has been sitting there for three days hello Ms. Amanda hi uh, yes just be standing in line while I'm getting a representative from the uh, Connecticut market okay okay um, there seems to be a long queue on the line, but don't you worry, I'll be connecting you properly. So just stay on the line, thank you. Thank you. That I know of. Okay. I know we have to, um, we changed the, um, service because we don't need, like, the, 
all the sports channels basically because I could give two craps what football team is winning so <laughs> <laughs> so we changed that um so we, I know we have to okay. send that one back but we got this one for my tv because I'm we have three tvs in the apartment okay not a problem yay the tv works Woo! I'm watching cartoons right now <laughs> how old am I <laughs> so the diet that I spoke to my personal trainer about this morning is a little intense. I think it's good that I'm not home home because if I was home home I'd have all this like pasta, sauce, and all that fun Italian stuff to eat. Here we have a bunch of crap just laying around and I wanted to, you know, just chuck it. I'm not going to eat it. It's been sitting there. No one's been eating it. So I wanted to chuck it, but I felt kind of bad because that's a lot of food. Um, this diet consists of no dairy and no grains. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not getting my carbohydrates and I'm not getting my calcium because I am. Through other fruits, vegetables, <clears throat> and other things that I'm eating. One of my favorite cereals, I was literally, today I didn't start the diet only because, um... I kind of screwed up this morning with my diet because I had already eaten dairy and green in my breakfast so we're starting tomorrow so these are my favorite cereal Captain Crunch Rice Krispie Treats and they look bomb then over here we have some special K cereal at the bottom this one's an intense one. We have some special case cereal at the bottom. We have almonds in there. We have M&M's. We have some graham crackers. We have Nutella. Marshmallows. There's so much stuff in this one. Um, so this is how you get rid of all this cereal in your house. You want to clean out your kitchen? Here's how. So I have been trying to clean this room all day. I finally got these things on the wall up there. Let me show you. These are the curtains that are supposed to go up here, but I kind of just put them up there, and they do not look good, so we are returning those today. And I just put these guys up there. I swear that they're not even, and I just keep looking at them, but I can't get them to be even, so I just gave up. And we're kind of just cleaning up over here. I put a big sheet on the ceiling. I'm gonna see what this looks like when I'm sitting down at my little chair. Um, I might just keep this sheet up and then put the colored and glittered sheets over it so that'll look really cute. I was um, steaming it. What's up? So I'm loving this way I did my eyebrows. I just kind of made them thinner today. I was tweezing at them and I was literally looking at myself in the mirror like, look at this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Like looking back and forth from my brows. <laughs> just trying to make them perfectly even. <clears throat> and this brow is always thinner at the end than this one, but I think I kind of did a good job at thinning it out a little better. Um... So yeah, that's good. I also tried some Starbucks. This is the peach green tea. It's not bad. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's not bad. So this is one of my favorite candles. But I can't stand candles that aren't in season. And this is a pumpkin Pumpkin? I think it's just pumpkin. It's from Yankee Candle. I found it at Marshall's and it smells so good. And I just can't get it to burn. Burn out. Burn away. Make my room smell like pumpkin all year round. So we popped this bottle of wine open and I'm drinking it out of a cup. <laughs> a solo cup. And it's kind of like a bubbly wine. It's actually really, really good. Good morning. Look at how horrible this looks. The bags under my eyes are insane. But I'm starting my new way of eating today. And so far on my plate, it looks pretty with all its colors. But I don't know how this is going to taste. So this breakfast this morning is dairy-free. 
dairy free and grain free. Um, I'm gonna see how today goes doing this and try to check to make sure I've gotten enough carbohydrates for the day. But usually these two guys sitting over here, bananas and sweet potatoes do give you a good amount of carbs. I don't know what I wanna do today. Holy, I don't know if you can see my breath, but it's so cold, holy crap. It's so cold. It's 18 degrees outside right now and it's January, I don't even know what day it is. Shush up. And I'm freezing. Oh my God. I still have to go and search for one of these camera holders because my phone thing doesn't hold my camera. I mean, I don't know why it would because it's for my phone. But I'm so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> It's like literally a piece of ice is hitting you in the face when the wind blows. It's day two of this new diet that I'm on. I felt a little sick yesterday and I'm starting to feel like a little congested today and that's why I didn't really film yesterday at all. I don't even think I vlogged at all. But anyway, so everybody's been telling me that I'm on a on the paleo diet, which I don't even know what that is, but I'm basically on a diet where there are five different things that I'm not allowed to eat. Or not necessarily not allowed, but I can't eat. I don't eat because it's not on the diet. Okay, so I have the paper in front of me. It's basically the five, excuse me. So the five things that I cannot eat. Just kidding, is it six? It's six. So the three things on this list that are basically, a, you know, you would assume if you're on a diet you wouldn't consume these, um, is alcohol, sugar, and baked goods. So alcohol is easy for me. I'm not a big drinker, so that's going to be fine. Um, sugar, I get very, very, very bad sugar cravings at night, and I literally need to have sugar. Sometimes they're worse than others. Like sometimes I have such a bad sugar craving where I need to have like a sour candy or Starburst is a good one, but then they get like addicting and then you just keep eating and eating and eating. So that's been a little difficult for me. Baked goods, I am not really a big baked goods person. I love cookies, but if as long as as long as I don't have them in front of me, I'm okay. The other three things that are you know, do not consume are grains, legumes, aka beans, and dairy. So I just got back from the gym and I'm feeling so congested. I like my nail, by the way. Yeah, this happened today. Not happy. No idea where the nail went. <laughs> Cause usually what I'll do when I break my nail is I'll take the nail and I'll just like glue it back on. To like, because usually, you know what I mean? There's like still a nail there to, and it stays for a little bit. And I just glue it back on for now until I get it fixed. But I don't know where it went. So, anyway. <laughs> so I'm all like congested here and my nose. Like it's like in my throat congestion. I don't know. It's it's bad. So I'm going to be taking some, some NyQuil. I don't know what it is about Shark Tank, but I love watching Shark Tank while I'm on the cardio machines. And I don't usually wear makeup to the gym, but I wore makeup to the gym because I didn't feel like taking it off. Hi guys, I am exhausted out of my mind. I was supposed to go to the mall today, but I got called into work, so I went to work. Um, but it kind of worked out because my friend found out that she had work and then work called me in and I was like, okay, well, we'll go to the mall tomorrow. So we're going to the mall tomorrow. I have to do some, um, I have to do some returns still. My phone case is all shishkad and that needs to be returned. And then what else do I need to do? My Michael Kors bag is actually ripping on the handle. 
so I have to take it there and see what they can do for me because I'm pretty sure a $400 bag should not be ripping. I have been sneezing all day. Like, I've been sneezing. Um, I was fine up until I literally walked into work, and I don't know what happened. I've been a little stuffy, but I walked into work, and I was like, what? This, like, overwhelming feeling of sick, like, came over me. But I think I, think I mentioned this before. I think it's because... I started the new um, diet or the new way of eating and that cut dairy and grains out of my diet and I also went to sleep very, very, very late. Like I usually go to sleep 11, 12, but I went to sleep at 4.30. Yeah, so that didn't really, starting that diet on the same day that I went to bed that late is not okay. I'm actually going to go cook some dinner and possibly edit and then I'm gonna see how I feel if I feel um, okay enough to go to the gym right now it doesn't look like it's gonna happen it looks like sleep may happen guys I had to show you this makeup look how cute <laughs> I have freckles